Role model essentially means, you planted a mango tree and a coconut tree. Mango tree saw, oh, I need to be like him and chopped off all its own branches. So Guruji, what I understand is then we should not find similarities of ourselves to someone else. Then why do we have role models? Role models? People keep asking me, Sadhguru, who is your role model? I tell them I don't roll with the models <laughs> You see all these things you're picking up from Western cultures, here we never created a role model. Just look back on this culture and see. This is about it, constantly striving to evolve yourself. Role model essentially means, you planted a mango tree and a coconut tree together. Coconut tree went straight up and tall. Mango tree saw, oh, I need to be like him and chopped off all its own branches and left one like this. This is going to be a lousy mango tree. Yes? You don't need a role model. The thing is, we are trying to drive people, young people especially, with either carrot or stick. Offer them something, otherwise beat them a little bit. This is like being a circus monkey. You want the circus monkey to do tricks, you give it a banana, it will do trick and again it will sit like this. Again you have to hang another banana there, otherwise it won't do. Don't become like this, all of you especially, I see, uh, I'm not saying about this institution, across the world I've spoken in every business institution. I see it's become so unhealthy. Everybody is thinking, what will I get, what will I get, what will I get, what will I get? Very few people are thinking, what can I create? What the hell are you going to get at the end of your life anyway? Will either bury you or cremate you? That's all you will get? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> because sometimes you even get fired for that reason. It once happened, Shankaran Pillai got fired from his job. See, I'm just telling you because you're in a school right now, here they can't fire you generally, unless you do something totally wrong probably. But outside, you know, small things you can get fired. As market economy grows and multiplies, people can get fired just like that. Shankaran Pillai got fired just because he asked a simple question, smoking or non-smoking? Why for such a simple thing a man must be fired? But what he was supposed to ask is cremation or burial. So, what is it that you're going to get at the end of this life? You will get nothing. The only thing is, did you live an intense and involved life? That's all you have. What have you got? What have I got? What have you got? What have I got? This is rubbish. But this has got particularly into business schools, this has gotten big time. In the United States, business school, nobody is thinking of anything. What's your first salary? The previous batch, what did they get the first salary? I must get little more than that. This is all because everything has become goal-oriented. There's no significance for the process. You know, we have business events every November. I think some shots were there of Ratan Tata and others. All the major leaders, business leaders in the country have come. Every year we have two hundred CEOs who go through four and a half days of training called Insight. Last year, one of this, you know, somebody who was running a reasonably major mm, multinational company said, Sadhguru, we picked the best from the IIMs and IITs in the country and we keep paying them more and more year after year. But you, you don't have single IIM here. I said, I all have only school dropouts. But your organization runs better managed than our corporation. How's this? I said, see, this is all it is. You guys are goal-oriented. You want to get somewhere. Here, people who are working for me, they don't even know where to go. They don't even care where they go. All they know is they are absolutely devoted to the process. Right now, what they're doing? They're so absolutely devoted to it, everything that's there in them is coming out in that single action. 
This is all a human being can do. Either you're doing your best or not doing your best, isn't it? You may not be able to do as well as somebody, but the question is, are you doing your best in every moment of your life? For this you need devotion. I'm specifically using the word devotion because devotion means people think going to the temple or church or mosque or whatever is their destination. No. You tell me, has anybody in any field of uh, activity, either sport, music, art, business, spirituality, politics, whatever, has anybody reached any significant states of achievement without being devoted to what they're doing? Have they? Has anybody gotten anywhere, I'm asking? Mediocre nonsense they've done, they maybe got more and more salary, but they did not do anything significant. So you have to decide whether you want to live a mediocre life or you want to live a, an intense, beautiful life. Because life is only in its experience, in not what you possess. Hmm? Life is only in the way you experience it, not in what you have. What you have will mock at you after some time. If your experience is not good, people can live in a palace and be terrible. So, what you possess is not at all the point. How you experience it, everything is the point, isn't it? But right now, the entire world has gone towards this direction. You young people must change this. The intensity of your experience is more important than the immensity of your possessions, isn't it?